Hello, hello, and welcome. In today's class, we will talk about simple past, regular verbs. So, how do we form the simple past, and when do we use it? Are you ready? Let's go. So, we form the simple past in the following way, with all regular verbs. Verb plus ed. For example, I climbed the Alps before. She walked to the school. They played basketball yesterday. You started a new job last month. So, there are some spelling rules to be considered with regular verbs in simple past. Number one, verbs ending with E. We just add D. For example, love, loved, like, liked. Number two, verbs ending with vowel, A, I, E, O, U, plus Y, we add E, D. For example, play, played enjoy enjoyed for verbs ending with consonant plus y we add i e d and we remove the y for example try tried cry cried for verbs ending with consonant plus vowel by consonant we double the last letter or the last consonant for example plan planned beg begged now, let's see how to make questions in simple past. For the yes-no questions, we form it in the following way. Number one, did. Number two, the subject. All subjects are you, he, she, he, we, they. Then, the verb. For example, did you try this game before? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Or, did she call you? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they do their homework? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. For WH questions, we form them in the following way. Number one, the WH word what, when, where, how, who, why, etc. Then did, then the subject, then the verb. For example, what did she cook for dinner? She cooked pasta. Where did you park your car? I parked it near the market. Okay, now let's see when do we use simple past. Number one, for actions happened and finished in the past, in a specific time. For example, yesterday, last week, month, whatever, and ago, like five years ago, one minute ago, one, one, one hour ago. For example, I watched a film yesterday evening. We use it also. For a habit in the past, it happened more than once. For example, he visited his grandparents every summer, but now he is not visiting them anymore. We use it also for a state, a state in the past. For example, he seemed nervous. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.